Today we're going to be tying one of the most recognizable flies in fly fishing. Stop your thread base about a quarter of the way down the shank. Now take your living dumbbell eyes and hold them parallel with the shank, making a couple wraps over the top, pulling tight and allowing them to kick out sideways. Now we're going to go over the eyes and under the shank, making figure eight thread wraps. Then you're going to split the two of them, going under the eyes but over the shank. This pulls all the thread wraps tight and keeps the eyes from twisting to one side or the other. Just to make them a little bit more durable, apply a thin coat of UV cure over the threads. You don't have to put a ton on because we're going to add a little bit more at the end. Then hit it with your UV light. Now you're going to want to rotate your vise upside down. Now take a couple strands of flashaboo, make one wrap and pull the butt ends towards the rear of the fly. Doing this will make it so you don't have to cut any tag ends off. Now take a couple more strands and tie them in so they hang off the opposite side of the shank. Making one wrap, pulling them down, and then locking them in. Then cut them to your desired length. Cut your faux tail to length and make sure the cut ends all line up nice and neatly. Then hold them right below the eye of the hook and tie them in. Then using the points of your scissors, equally separate the faux tail on either side of the hook point. Then make a couple more thread wraps to lock in the faux tail. Now we're going to do the same thing with our opposing color faux tail. Cut it to length before tying it in. Then making sure all the cut ends stay lined up, we're going to pinch it up against the shank of the hook, keeping those ends behind the eye of the hook. Now make tight wraps, making sure to capture all the faux tail and their cut ends. Then use your scissor points again to equally separate the faux tail on either side of the hook point. Now we're going to take a half a dozen or so strands of crystal flash and tie them in above the blue faux tail making one loose wrap and then pulling the tag ends just behind the eye of the hook and finish tying them in. Now you can rotate your fly back upright and then finish it off with a whip finish. and then cut your bobbin free. Now to finish this fly off and add some durability, we're gonna coat the nose of the fly with a UV resin. Then cure it up with your UV light and you're ready to hit the water.